Hello everybody, Dionysus Prime here, and today I'm going to be doing an instructional video on how to do an Eric Van Wilderman style Oculus Rift. I kind of beefed up the design a little bit in my head. I haven't actually tried it yet, so we're just going to do it as we go. Um, this is a really cheap way to get an Oculus Rift, the really low technology version. And if you want to make it real cheap, you can get a flat rate box. Priority mail, you know. Um, so you don't have to worry about the really long shipping time of uh, a real Oculus Rift, you know. But with a very similar experience, but not really. And so here's your materials. A box, flat rate box for minimum minimum price. And some tin foil. Scissors and tape. I haven't actually tried this yet, but I've thought it up in my head. Here's what you need to do. This little flap here, you open up your box first. Make sure this side is as even as this side. Keep this side in the middle. And there's this extra tab here. You're going to want to cut that off. Now I'm going to have to edit this part out because it's really hard to do with one hand. Alright, so as you can see, I've just finished hacking this part right off. Maybe might use that later, but probably not. Actually, maybe. So, move your tin foil out of the way, maybe your tape. So now you've got these two even sides, this nice little divider. What you want to do is you're going to fold these about, oh, here's a good idea, about the length of this. Not with this extra tab, but just this. You're going to want to put that right there. So you can see where the line is right here. Measure that using, let's see if I have a marker somewhere. Alright, I have a marker here. I'm going to want to mark where that line is. So here's your centerpiece. You're going to put this against this, your centerpiece. You're going to mark where this edge is right here. Damn it, marker's dry. Really fucking dry. Okay, so as you see, I've done it with both sides here. So now you've got these three even pieces. I ran out of my other marker because it was really dry, so I switched to this one. Really fucking dry. Not just dry, but fucking dry. Alright, now, so what you're going to do is you're going to want to fold this outward from these lines on either side. Oh, it's really dark. Okay, so we got these nice folded pieces here. Should make this little crevasse. Now what you might want to do is is uh, cut along here up to the line. So you know the sides right here. You want to cut here so this is its own segment on either side and on the top. Alright, now that we've done that, you should fold just like this now. All three of them. So what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to fold these in on itself. All three of them, just like so, so it makes a nice little square, and you're going to want to probably put some tape there, or staples, or whatever material you want to use to hold it just like that. Okay, so now you can see I've taped these together, so it makes this nice little indent there, and it holds it nicely, depending on how, how much tape you used, or if you have staples. Now, I've been thinking, and this should work with any size box, so long as the top and bottom are both even, which is pretty much every box in existence. I'm just using a pretty thin box because it's easier. You don't have to trim this down a whole lot. So try to find a moderately thin box. All right, now the next step is to get these flaps and kind of angle them. Now, not completely up like this, like uh, uh, in a line, but kind of like that on both sides. I'll show you what I mean in just a sec because this is really hard to hold with one hand. All right, so as you can see, I've, I've put them in a nice conical shape. Now, what I find would really work well is the distance between here and here should be the distance between the bottom and the top of your monitor. So you might want to like, you know, put it against your monitor and measure it like that in space. And, uh, ah, dang, it's coming apart. Put some pretty generous amounts of tape right there to hold it together. And one second, I'm actually going to patch that up a little bit. Okay, yeah, I just put a lot more tape on both sides of this. I haven't put any on the inside, as you can see, but we might get to that a little bit later. So now what you want to do is see how... Ah, jeez. 
hold on. This edge goes slanted up and this edge just goes slanted down. What you want to do is you want to put it down just like that. I'm going to chop it in a line so that this edge along here and this edge along here are completely flat on the ground. Alright, so as you can see, this is now a solid line and both these edges are, well, just about touching the bottom of your floor or wherever you're working. So now what you want to do is before we do some, some adjustments and cosmetics here, you want to cut out two holes for your eyes right here. You might want to measure where your eyes are at, but make them moderately in the center. So you got to make a pretty good, pretty good estimate of where the center is or if you want to measure it if you're really precise. I'm really impatient, so, you know, so go for it. Okay, so I've cut two holes out here. I kind of had to draw a little guide, even though the guide really doesn't do much, but I kind of guesstimated the center, and this is probably about how wide my nose is, so my eyes work pretty nicely in there, but I've noticed that this part right here, this edge where my finger's pointing, is really blocking my nose, so I bet we can carve a little bit of that out. Okay, I've cut out a little chink for my nose. It's not very symmetrical, but my nose is is oh, excuse me, dust on my screen. Okay, so I've there's this chink right here for your nose, and my nose is a little bit more comfortable. -er. I would I kind of actually wish it was a little bit more symmetrical. Okay, now I've really made it a little bit more symmetrical. It's not still not quite, but my nose fits comfortably, and that's what's important. We're here to play video games with an Oculus Rift, not care about our noses. So now, if you if you want to make it just a little bit more comfortable, you can smooth it. Ah, oh, dang it. Hold. Okay, so my Oculus Rift kind of became Oculus Ripped, because this part kind of tore right there, but I patched that up anyway, so it's really nice. My face, I can't tell if you can see my face, but it fits real nice in there. Give me a good 360 view here, but not really 360. Alright, I can't really tell if you can see that, but anyway, it fits, and that's what's important. Oops, make sure this is still on very nicely. All right, now what we're planning to do is, uh, crap, I forgot what I was going to do next. Oh yeah, you need a way to fasten it to your head. So here's what I was thinking. You can get this little bracket here that we took off, put it right there just like that and kind of bend that around your head. Just fasten it to the sides about like that, only less triangular, and tape that down. Let's see how well that works. Okay, so I just realized my head's a little too big for this, so we're going to find another material. Tin foil is going to be our last resort. Okay, now apparently we are using tin foil now. You just get a nice long sheet, and then you fold it and fold it and fold it, maybe about an inch and a half wide. Keep folding it like that so eventually it'll be strong enough. Kind of measure your head compared to where this is. Kind of put your head right there, hold one side down and wrap it around your head and with the other hand, and then hold one side down again, tape it, measure again, and then tape the other side. That's what I ended up doing. So now we need a support that goes from like here, somewhere up here, on top of the head so it doesn't fall too far forward. And then we'll pretty much do the same thing. Okay, now I took a bit of tweaking on the nose piece, made it a little bit wider, made it a little bit more comfortable and accommodating down here, but I put the bridge here, measured it in a similar way. Start by taping this down here, however you would like to think it would be secure, and then you put your head right in it, and then um, pull this forward enough so that it fits kind of snugly, and then tape it down where you held it there. And now what we are going to do is we're going to make sure it is adapted to our screen. So what we're going to do is we're going to make sure these little holes right here and on the side and this little triangular gap here is all covered so there is no escaping light. So we're going to put some foil on this side, potentially wrap it around here to make it look cool on all the sides and then on that side. Okay, so you can see here I've uh, not only have I covered these sides with tin foil so there's no light entering, I open this up a little bit more to make it a little bit more accommodating so you can just put all your face right in there. Padded this a little bit. You don't necessarily have to do that, but I just found it to be a little bit more comfortable. Maybe not as much, though. So now the next step, there's my desk. It's a little messy. As you can see, I've elevated my monitor a little bit. I don't know if you can tell, but there's my chair right here. 
There's my monitor. Now it's on top of a support right there, which is actually my trumpet case. There's a picture of Samus, a bunch of shooting, shooting gallery trip mem memorials, memorabilia. So you need to elevate your monitor so that it's level with where your face is going to be, because that's crucial to this Oculus Rift development here. Now the next step is to get this, stick it on your monitor, and I'll show you how. There's some clothes. It's going to look very similar to that when you mount it. What you're going to do is you're just going to stick it right on your screen and support it with tape on the top. Not necessarily on the sides or on the bottom, but the top is what's going to hold it. As you can see, it's not exactly conformed to my monitor because there's just a little bit of space right here. You can't see it very well. But that's your Oculus Rift. And what you do is you just take a seat here. One second, let me switch the cameras. Bing! Okay, so now there's me. Ha ha ha. Uh -huh. So you're just going to put your face right in there. And this is why we raised the monitor to where our head's going to be. I'm not wearing a shirt right now because it's hot. It's very hot. So what you do is you just pop your face right in there like so. And you start playing video games, son. Probably should elevate this a little bit more, but yeah, that's how it's going to work. Uh, it's a little design tweaking from the original by Eric Ben Wilderman. Uh, credit goes to him. 90% of all profits made from this device here. Very smooth looking. You can cover it all in tinfoil if you want to make it look real good. 90% of all profits go to him, which I estimate is about $0.00, .00 in U.S. currency. But yeah, Eric Ben Wilderman, you're awesome if you're watching this. Thank you very much. Thank you, anyone, for watching this, for that matter. And, um, yeah, enjoy your Oculus Rift, <laughs> for those of us who are too poor.